Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today I'm bringing you the LAG 335. Now what this has on it is a 12.7 millimeter with only one cannon of that with 500 rounds of ammunition. But I also have a 20 millimeter one cannon, 120 ammunition round cannon on it, making this plane a complete beast, especially if you know where to hit the other planes with. Now this video will be compiled into two different clips because I had a hard time being able to have an amazing round with just this plane. Now the reason this video is being uploaded today is because last week I was extremely busy doing other things and I didn't have the time to uh, upload this. Also you won't be seeing very many videos on this channel within the next week because a few of us are actually going through files right now so we'll be busy studying. Now what you saw in the beginning of the video was our new intro. Uh, one of the clan members actually helped design that and he made it for us. So I'd have to thank him for doing that. Now to get to the actual gameplay. This plane is actually fairly fast. I, it's really... that's nice. Man, I can't even talk today. Now, in some circumstances, it is pretty agile, so you could get away pretty quickly. But it seems like it can be taken down fairly easily. That's why I had to take two, diff two different clips. But the upside to that is, is like you just saw, I probably put maybe 10 rounds into that thing and it's already gone. I just, I tend to have a problem lasting a long time because I'm not one of those uh, people who stick with, as you can see, way up there with my whole team. I generally like to uh, fly solo and I'll fly into like mass groups of people, of enemies, oh, my bad. So I end up getting shot down really fast. So here I'm trying to escape from the Japanese K-43 I think it was. I'm having a hard time doing it. I'm trying to use all sorts of maneuvers to get away from it. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but have you ever realized that when you f tend to fly a different type of plane, you suck, but then you see somebody else flying it and they own? Because I remember when I used to fly the K-43, I've never been able to, like, own with it. Now, this is the end of the first clip. Now here, I'm actually playing in the Battle of Stalingrad. And I skipped the intro part of it because it takes forever to get to people. As you can tell, it's just, it's amazing to just fly by and kill people with. I really like this map, it just, it's so open and you could like see everybody. One thing I have to say about this game though is that, like, I've only played the action modes for it but I wish there's a lot more teamwork involved in this game I I get frustrated when I fly towards a friendly and they don't help shoot down the plane that's on my tail yet I always do that for other people or at least try to now in this video you may have just saw that there's a bomb um, option I did equipped two 100 uh, what do you call it? 100 kilogram bombs on it. But I don't really use it too much. I think, right, yeah, right there, that tactic. I'd recommend trying that. So I flew in really low and swooped back up and the plane that was following me could not pull up like I was. So I ended up making him crash. I'm coming in here for this MC202. And pulling around. I'm really trying to prevent people from taking B. I, there's actually a few games where I should have recorded. There's a weird plane. I was playing this map a few days later with a X Zero and I ended up, I was a bomber and we were just about to lose and 
I landed my plane, flew or came off the runway, came back on the runway, shot down another plane, and then hit a hangar, yet somehow still managed to win the game. I was just like, that's amazing. It was hilarious. And then earlier, to, prior to that, I did the same thing and took it, and I had, the enemy retook it, and then I had to take it back for our team. I think that's the third plane that I've shot down so far. Yep, third plane. Now, I'm still trying to get a little bit better at that. I'm trying to learn to dodge with those one-on-one -on -one situations. But with that, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and leave a like and subscribe.